Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make some coffee soap or cappuccino soap with melt and pour. First, we are going to prepare the embeds that we will add on top of the soap. Therefore, I'm using a coffee bean mold with some brown colored soap that I will pour into the little cavities. You could also use a pipette for this purpose if you feel that you have a better control. You could also actually use real coffee beans as a decoration, but I wanted to opt for a soap version here. Leave it to cool and harden for a couple of minutes. In the meantime, I will cut some melt and pour in smaller chunks to add it to the double boiler. You can also use a microwave to melt down your soap in short increments in that case to prevent overheating. Our melt and pour is completely melted and I already added some chestnut brown mica. I love this pearly kind of look that this mica gives to the melt and pour. Now I'm adding a fragrance oil. This one is called Espresso and it comes from Bramberry. Mix well to incorporate the fragrance. You won't need much fragrance in Melt and Pour in general because it holds the scent very well. One to three percent is enough. Now it's time to pour the soap. I want to use a round mold, but you can use any type of mold that you want. I will leave some links down in the description where you can find all the tools and ingredients for this project as well. Fill your mold only about three quarters, so you can still add the foam later on. If you see air bubbles on the surface, just spritz them away with some rubbing alcohol. Allow this layer to completely harden. In the meantime, we can cut down some melt and pour soap that we will use to create the foam on top of the coffee or cappuccino. Also, let's check how the coffee beans turned out. I think they turned out pretty cool. As you can tell, this layer is now completely hard and can support the next layer of foam, so to speak. Here is the melted soap and first I'm going to add some white colorant. Instead of titanium dioxide, I decided to try some white shimmer mica, especially for this kind of project here, to see how it turns out. Make sure you mix it well and you get rid of all the clumps. You can also use some rubbing alcohol to break down the clumps if needed. Now I just take a little milk frother and mix until the foam starts to build. Can you see the little soap bubbles flying up? And in this case it's totally okay if there are some air bubbles because it really looks like this milk layer on top of a cappuccino. Once you are happy with the consistency of your foam, spritz the first layer with rubbing alcohol and then pour the white soap on top of your brown soap. The rubbing alcohol acts like a glue and ensures that both layers really stick well together. 
I think this really looks like a milk layer on top. I'm just going to add a little bit more on top to see if I can build up the foam a little bit more. You can really play around and see how this works out for you. The same thing actually applies to the decoration. If you are putting any little embeds on top, you really want to wait a little bit so that the soap can support the coffee bin and it doesn't sink, but also you don't want to wait too long uh, and then you risk that the embed is not sticking to the soap or entering the soap, if you know what I mean. I think this looks really cool. As a final touch, I would like to add some mica sprinkles on top to mimic the typical cacao that uh, you would add on top of the cappuccino. For this I just take a knife and sprinkle it on top. You could also use a tea strainer or even a salt and pepper shaker. Whatever works best for you. I think this really looks cool. Allow this to cool again before to unmold. And here you have a really cool coffee soap and it smells amazing as well. There are more Melt and Pour Soap videos and ideas on the playlist that you can see here on the screen for you to check out. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more soap making videos or skincare DIY. I hope to see you very soon. And in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye-bye.